A new study shows that prescription heartburn medications are linked to an early death the longer a person uses them. Dr. Kumar is here to talk a little more about that. Good morning, Dr. Kumar. Good morning. Does that surprise you? Well, you know, this kind of study that's been coming around doesn't surprise me. It's another, another observational study, and I should put it in check, you know, and add some of the opposing view to that. You know, this is not the first kind of study that's been done this way, which is observational. that looks at the potential risks of proton pump inhibitors. Proton pump inhibitors are acid suppressive medication. You know, 20% of the population has mm -hmm. reflux. Um, not everybody needs to be on the most potent class of medications, these proton pump inhibitors. These are medications that, that affect the stomach, that affect the cells that make acid, and they're really, really well received and they work great in treating acid reflux. But they do come at some cost, and this study is like the others that are taken from like a 10,000 foot point of view, and they just look at people that are on these medications compared to people that are not on these medications and see what kind of risks they're, that they, they may be associated with. And in the past, they've been associated with bone fractures, dementia, heart problems, kidney problems, and now it's just all cause mortality. And it's a 0.25, 25% risk, but uh, increased risk. And you have to weigh that in context. When they use these big numbers, they don't really mean what, they, what, what it sounds like. Because it's such a small survey of those who they surveyed. Absolutely. So when you say a 25% increased risk, like if you had a 4% increased risk of a complication or something, then if you had a 25% increased risk, that goes to 5%. That's 25% of 4 is 5. So if the absolute risk is still like 1 in 500 people on PPIs would, would, would come to maybe perhaps some harm. So it's not like 25% of the population is at risk. You have to be careful how you evaluate these numbers. The analogy I would use would be like at a fire. You know, it could be that at every fire, there's a firefighter, right? Mm -hmm. So are you now going to say that firefighters are the cause of fires? You know, so if you have a problem, if you have dementia, if you have mortality, if you have heart problems, and and there's this, this innocent bystander who might be, you know, it, it could be just as true that in the last year of lives, people are more likely to be prescribed these acid suppressors because of a host of reasons. You know, they're hospitalized, and once you're hospitalized, you get put on these medications. Um, you might develop ulcers. You might be on non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that put you at risk of ulcers. These kind of studies, and they keep coming out, which is, you know, it's, it's important to have these kind of associations, but they're not the nail in the coffin. They don't prove causality. They prove associations, and certainly it brings to bear the idea that these class of medications are overprescribed for sure. When you get into a hospital, you're going to be on one. People are worried you're the sickest you can be, and they want to protect your stomach and your GI tract. They put you on these medications, and when you get discharged, they might not stop it. And so we have to be sure that a person that's on these medications needs to be on these medications. But if you need to be on these medications, if you have severe acid reflux, these, this class of medications has been proved largely safe in long-term studies. We've, looked, we've had these around for 25, 30 years. Um, this, these kind of studies do give us reason to pause and make sure that you need to be on the medications you're on, but it doesn't, we shouldn't run scared, mm -hmm. you know, because of these medications, these over-the-counter medications taken as, 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 as an answer. Yeah, I, mean, I think it works. I think it's okay. So I just would, talk to your doctor. That's right. You know, make sure that you understand if you're on these medications long term, that you discuss it with your doctor, that, you, that the risks truly outweigh, um, the benefits truly outweigh the risks. Okay, Dr. Kumar, as always, thank you so much for joining us. If you have a question for Dr. Kumar, email us at askdrkumar at gmail.com. And don't forget, you can like Dr. Kumar on Facebook as Dr. Kumar or follow him on Twitter at MDPradeepKumar. We'll be right back.